Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the North Penn Girls Volleyball Game. My name is Hannah Lara D'Andrea, and besides me, I have... Aaron Jessberger. Tonight, the Knights will be playing Quakertown Panthers, as tonight's lineup includes Valerie McGriff, number 30, Hannah Sparks, number 27, number 26, Madison Mejia, number, number 17, Natalie Wernley, number 15, Gianna Gabrielle, number 34, Holly Cock, 25, Kayla Sucro, 22, Wagenhofer, and number nine, Riley Gilmer. We also have number five, Charlotte Patterson, number 29, Catherine Hanley, and 33, Mick Taggart, as Quakertown's lineup includes number three, Wood, 14, Beinhauer, 19, Gallagher, five, Martinez, six, Curtis, 23, Wilson, and 28, Sicker. As tonight's JV team for North Penn is coming off of a win against Quakertown earlier tonight, Varsity is looking to win as well as Thursday. Both Varsity and JV won against Cheltenham. The Knights are looking for another win tonight. How do you feel, Erin? I feel amazing. I actually just got done playing for the uh, Knights JV team, and I think that, you know, Varsity is going to look to do that. I mean, we have number 17, Nat, who has amazing hits. Uh, Charlotte Patterson has amazing sets. And we just have a lot of good passing on this team and a lot of good hitting and a lot of good communication. I think you're right. The chemistry on the court tonight is certainly all there. The girls are excited. High fives all over the court. I'm excited as well. I am <laughs> ecstatic. You know, you can tell, like, the girls, like, they want to play volleyball, but at the same time, you know, everybody wants to, like, make that good record. And that is what the girls are looking forward to, to doing tonight. I agree, as the Knights are coming in with a four and seven record and Quakertown is coming in with a zero and nine record. I believe both teams want a win pretty badly. Yes, I will agree to that. <laughs> so tonight the girls will take the court. We have uh, number nine, Gilmer, uh, number 25, um, Sucro. We got uh, 33 freshman, Matagret, I mean, Kylie has one of the, is probably one of the greatest hitters that we have on this team. And, and she's just, she's a freshman and she's on varsity. I think that <laughs> says enough. Uh, and then we have uh, number five, Patterson. Um, and then we have number 26, Magia. And then we have our libero in the pink jersey, number 34, Cat. Uh, Soon we will be finding out if North Penn is receiving, and it looks like they will receive the ball first as Quakertown serves it away. Here we have number six, Curtis, serving the ball up to North Penn. And it is a good serve, Libero. And then Nat will hit it over. Beautiful hit by Natalie Wernley. Beautiful. Another hit, and it will be short. Beautiful block by Mejia as North Penn's Charlotte Patterson will now serve the ball over to Quakertown, siding out. And the serve is good. Be another hit, and then the little Holly. Ah, and it'll just be a little short. Just too short for Holly Cop to reach, as Maddie had a block attempt in the beginning of that play. We're gonna wanna get it back right here. Number 11 for the Panthers will serve it. And it is a short. And now the Knights will get the ball back. And now we'll have Nat serve the ball over. What do you think? Is it going to be a good serve? I mean, she's. Oh, definitely. Yeah, Wardley's a strong player for North Penn varsity for all three years of her high school experience. And now that she's a senior, she will end the Knights and will get the point. Here we have North Penn receiving the point as Quakertown doubles on its set attempt. Wernley you know, will serve the ball again as the Knights are leading the way three to one. You know, you look at it and then North Penn lost a lot of, our, a lot of seniors last year. The ball will be in and North Penn will receive another point. And as I was saying, there's just a lot of, they lost a lot of seniors last year and they were a very good team, and I believe that this year they are just as good as a team, but with a lot less seniors. 
Hornley serves it over to Quakertown. And the hit is jousted by Madison Mejia. And Riley Gilmer will Beautiful spot by Gilmer. And, and a kill. kill! Beautiful spot, beautiful spot by Riley Gilmer. And that's what you want to aim for. You want to aim for the corners. You want to get that really good spot where they cannot get it. Or you want to get in their heads and make them mess up. North Penn is not granting Quakertown any points right now as they lead the game 5-1. to one And now Wernley's serve is good. You hit over and... Number Always three. rough when that blind spot gets the libero. Yes. Number 34 is Cap, Holly Cap, and she is a in her junior year. Here we have Quakertown's number five, Martinez, serving the ball over. And it is good. Natalie Wernley, Charlotte Patterson, and Riley Gilmer with the kill. Great spot. You know, it's just the hitting the net. You just got to make sure that you get it over and you get it in a great spot. And these girls, they're good at getting the spots and getting the hits over the net. I agree. Here we have Libero Cop serving for North Penn's team. Great serve over to Quakertown side as they will free ball it over to North Penn. Dig by Natalie Wernley, set by Charlotte Patterson. And a hit over the net by Kylie, <laughs> by Kylie McTighe. Another hit by Riley Gilmer and she makes it in. That is beautiful when a hitter like Gilmer can hit that deep corner right past their libero and their defensive line. That's beautiful. I will put it over and it will be a good serve. Uh, it's just too short for libero cop to reach, but no problem for North Penn as we are still leading with seven to three as Quakertown receives the ball. Number 19, McGallagher will now be serving the ball back to North Penn. And a good serve, went a good spot, but Riley Gilmer got it in time. And now, uh, and it'll just be a little out. Always a tricky shot for a hitter to go cross court. Times like that, McTaggart always has the ball, but I'm positive that we will get it back. Serve, and it is good. And Natalie will get it. And it will be a hit over by Kylie. Dig by Natalie. Hit over by Kayla, but it will just be a little out. But luckily, we will get the ball back. As number 19 will step up again to serve it once. Quakertown is gaining some points and momentum here as they keep their serve streak going. And it seems like we will be handing the ball back to Quakertown on this point as they are gaining up on North Penn. Seven to six. It will be another good serve by number 19. And that will be an ace for number 19, Gallagher on Quakertown's team. You can tell that the bench on Quakertown is ecstatic for this streak. North Penn really needs the ball back right here. Another good serve by 19, and it'll just be a little out, which will luckily give the Knights the ball back. This is the side out that they were hoping for as McTaggart is now serving the ball over to Quakertown. Still leading by one, eight to seven. And that will be an ace for Mick Taggart, the freshman of North Penn's varsity team. Yeah, and like I said, she's a freshman, and she is doing a phenomenal job tonight. I agree. As she does always. Be a serve, and it will just be a little short, but we will get the ball back. The energy is up on the courts right now as both teams are closing that gap between each other. It is nine and eight with North Penn leading by one. And here we have Natalie Wernley free balling it back to Quakertown. And it will be hit over by number nine. Tricky oh. play by Charlotte Patterson, but, but Quakertown will not let it go until they hit the ball into the net. I believe that was number nine. But a good save by the libero for Quakertown, number 23, Wilson. And now we will have Riley Gilmer serve it over. And it is a good serve. 
dig by Gilmer, set by Charlotte Patterson, and a phenomenal hit by Wernley. Will they get it? That was a tough one. That was a tough one. It's always difficult when the ball hits the roof or something that you can't control. You have to be prepared as Gilmer sends the ball back over to Quakertown. Both Riley Gilmer and number 17, Nat, are the captains for the uh, varsity game. And this week we have Charlotte Patterson as one of the co-captains. Every week the captains change by the girls selecting. And North Penn will get the other point. That was a great kill by Wernley, number 17. As Gilmer serves the ball back over to Quakertown side, increasing the gap between the points. North Penn leading 12 to eight against Quakertown. Great serve. And it will be hit over by number nine, but Riley Gilmer will stop it just in time. And great we have hit by Kayla Sucro. And a great set by Charlotte Patterson. Gilmer is one of North Penn's top servers, and I am telling you, you do not want to be back row when she is serving. Be a beautiful serve. It will be hit over by number 19, but Holly would get in front of it. Charlotte will set it, and Nat will hit it. Great block attempt by Quakertown. And a block error by Wernley, number 17. But North Penn is not going to give up here, folks. 13 to 9, North Penn is determined to get the ball back as they look very focused on the court right now. Quakertown is ecstatic to have the ball back. Here we have number three, Wood, serving it over to North Penn. Seems that there was a little rotation mix up between the refs and the coaches. Looks about better now as he whistles so that we can serve it back to North Penn. Nat will pass it up, and so will Holly. And free ball over to Quakertown. That was close, right on the line. That, that was, was a great spot. Close. It'll be hit over by number 14, and then it will be not that great of a block, but by number 25. But luckily, North Penn will get the ball back, and they're up by three points. Number three, Wood will step up again to serve for Quakertown. And it is a good serve. Great set by Charlotte Patterson. Dig by Gabriel. And for a, a tricky tip by Natalie Wern. Beautiful, beautiful. She is one for the smart plays here. When you want the ball back, play smarter, not harder, as Coach Scott would say. And North Penn is demonstrating that very well. Here we have Kayla Sucro up to serve, number 25 for North Penn. Great powerful serve as Quakertown sends it back over with a free ball. Little and it is out. Yeah, Great there's call on North Penn side. There's a little bit of a miscommunication on the Quakertown side, but luckily they free balled it over. But North Penn, they let it go out. Another great serve by Sucro as Quakertown tries to give them a kill. Beautiful set by Charlotte Patterson, but it will just be a little short and it will be blocked by the net. It is now 16 to 10, Knights are up by six. And Kayla will be up once again. Great spot by Kayla Sucro. That is where you want it, right on the line. Don't know whether it's in or out. Quakertown let that ball drop on the court. And Quakertown will call for a timeout. Why do you think they called their first time out right here at North Penn leading 17 to 10? Well, I mean, you know, coaches would say, oh, we're slowing down their momentum and everything. And they're, you know, they're just trying to get a breather and have everyone, like, calm down and start talking. But that's great for North Penn that they're taking a time out. I agree. I think what Quakertown needs right now is some more energy, some more on-court chemistry, and just to talk it up with each other. Right now, North Penn is getting a great pep talk by Coach Scott. I already know he's trying to hype up Kayla Sucro so that she has a great serve to send back over to Quakertown once this timeout is finished as we have about 20 seconds left for the teams to get ready to play up on the court. As this is an important game to both teams as Quakertown wants to get a win on their record and North Penn is on their way to a winning record, I think this will be a good game. Let's both. see what they bring back to the court. Yeah, both Knights and Panthers will take the court, and we are ready to start again. 
champions. Sucrose Good serve. With an ace. Amazing. That is the way to come back from a timeout. And it'll just be a little too short for number 19. Many times on plays like that, when you have a great serving streak going, a coach will try to call a timeout to ice your server. But Kayla is not one to be iced. Another beautiful serve right on the line as Quakertown cannot return it back to North Penn. Leading 19 to 10 now, Kayla will serve for the 20th point. Kayla will serve it over once again, and it will be a, another great serve by Kayla. A little miscommunication on the Quakertown side, but Knights will get the point, and now we are at a 20 to 10 lead against the Panthers. Great night for the Knights. Am I right? Yeah, beautiful <laughs> night. Be another beautiful serve in the same spot by Kayla. 14 will hit it over, and it will be stopped by number 33. Hit over by Nat, and she found that spot where there was an opening, and there was nobody there on the Quakertown side. As Coach Scott would say, place with purpose, place with purpose. Nat is great at finding that one empty spot on the court to place that ball and get another kill for her record. Uh, and it'd just be a little bit short, but Kayla did an amazing job. She got the Knights up 21 to 11. Communication is one of the most important keys to a volleyball game. I agree, as we have number six, Kurt is serving the ball and into the net, just slightly short for Quaker Town side. Communication is exactly what they need to get the ball back here. And energy, lots and lots of energy. Here we have Charlotte Patterson serving the ball over on North Penn's side. Good serve and a good spot. It'll be hit over by number 11. Another dig by Patterson. And, and a free ball over by McTaggart to the Quaker Town side. Another hit over by number 19. And Quaker Town just could not get it over. That was 19 Gallagher, an attempt to tip the ball over to North Penn side. Get a little tricky, but they need a little bit more energy. But Natalie was there to block it. Charlotte up with the other serve, and it is a good serve. It'll be hit over by number 14, but blocked by number that's a great play when you're knocked out of rotation a little bit, but you still manage to get the ball over with tons of energy and proper placement. Unfortunately, Wernley there will hit the ball slightly into the net. As Quakertown receives the ball to serve for the 13th on their behalf and 24th on North Penn's behalf. Number we 11. can't tell where this point will go. Number 11 will step up and she will serve it. And it will be a good serve. Great set by Charlotte Patterson as it goes back to Wernley for a kill. And a smart play by Nat and Charlotte. As North Penn's bench cheers, free ball kill. Natalie Wernley is definitely the one to play smart and hard. Now she's serving for North Penn's side. Number 17, this is game point. North Penn leading 24 to 12. Will Quakertown keep themselves in this game? Great back set by Patterson. And it is just slightly out by McTaggart. But they have plenty of time to adjust and get their energy back up. As Quakertown receives the ball, it will be number five, Martinez serving as they are down 13 to 24 on North Penn's game point. She will serve and it will be a good serve. but. Blocked by number 34. Beautiful set by Patterson. And an amazing smart play by number nine, Gilmer. Another smart play by number 33. Great hustle on Quakertown's side of the court. Great adjustments on North Penn's side. A little bit of back and forth between the Knights and the Panthers. This is quite the rally. You know, and that's what you want to win. You want to win the rallies. Girls are communicating. Great set by Charlotte Patterson. And a great tip over by number 33. Dig by Wernley. Set by Patterson. Hit by Gilmer. Ah! More Quaker back Town and forth. Sends it over with another dig by Patterson. And Gilmer to joust the ball over. And that will be North, North Penn's ball as Quakertown could not dig it up fast enough. 
That is the first set, folks, as North Penn took Quakertown 25 to 13. That was incredible. That was a very interesting game there. Hopefully the Knights will win the next two games as we play best out of five. I hope so. I believe that this set gave the teams motivation and energy that they will carry with them through the rest of the sets as this is very important for them. It is always good to win the first game because now you got the momentum, now you got the energy and everything, and now all you want to do is just win. I agree. As you can hear, cheering and clapping and nonstop excitement on the court. From I think both teams are ready to come back this set. As varsity games are the best of five, the team with the first three winning sets will win this match. And I know both of them won it quite badly, don't you think? Yep. With North Penn, with the win under the belt, now Quakertown's going to come back hungry and just ready to win. What do you think the coaches are talking about down there? I believe Coach Scott is telling the girls, don't get cocky, but keep mm. on finding those good spots. And Quakertown probably is talking about the girls just to, like, you know, keep communication going, keep the energy going, that we are still in this and it's just good having those coaches to talk to you. Looks like Coach Scott is coming up with the lineup currently on his way to the desk, and the captains are talking up the team on North Penn's side. I know that they have a lot of control over the team and a lot of great energy management that they will continue to spread throughout the team. The girls are super excited to have won their first set, and they are not going to give up this second set. But as you said, Quaker Town is hungry and they will come back faster than ever if they use the proper discipline and hustle on the court. I believe that there's a chance that they can win this next set. Yep, and last week, uh, both teams, JV and Varsity, had back three back-to-back -back games all last week. Unfortunately, the Varsity team did lose both, but then they won against Cheltenham. And JV did win all three, but I know that the girls just want to come here and they just want to win. And that's all what basically people want to do. Have fun, but also win. I agree. We can tell there's a good time going on on the court right now. We have our line judges playing a quick little 1v1 match while Varsity is preparing to get back on the court and dominate this next set. Some baby queens. All right, and now North Penn is ready to take the court, and they are pumped, and they are ready as ever. And I don't know about you, but I am pumped and ready, and I really want the girls to win. Me too, Erin. I agree. Here we have the ref mounting again. North Penn is the first team on the court. We welcome in senior Valerie McGriff. We also welcome senior Aaron Boland, number 22, junior Linden. And then we have number 29, sophomore, Catherine. Little fun fact about Erin Boland. She has a 100% serving record. Is that you know true? That? Beautiful no. stat right there. Val Let's hope that that energy continues throughout the game. Val and Erin both are in their senior year and they're looking to win. Here we have the referee making sure everyone is in the correct placement, giving the libero away to come on the court and replace Valerie McGriff in her back row position as Kylie McTaggart, number 33 for North Penn, prepares to serve the ball over to Quakertown side. And let game number two go underway. Serve, and it is a beautiful serve, and it will be knocked out by number 23 libero for Quakertown Panthers. What a great way to start your second match with an ace by the freshman, Mick Taggart. She will serve it over once more, and it will be a good serve once again in a beautiful spot. But number 22 will have the tip of it to knock it out to let the Knights get the point. Great way to start your first set. And now you can hear the varsity team cheering. She's a freshman for number 33. <laughs> Another great serve by McTaggart. And it is a free ball attempt over to North Penn's side, but they just cannot make that over. North Penn will receive the ball one more time as McTaggart continues her serving streak three to zero. 
Another serve, and it would be a good serve in a good spot. But luckily, the libero would get there in time, and it would be hit out. By that was a very close hit. I can tell that she was trying to play smart, which is what Quakertown should be doing right now. But it just went right past that line, and North Penn will receive the ball one more time, 4-0 against Quakertown. And a lot of people ask, what is the job about the linemen or the people with the flags? And it is to let you know if the ball is out or in or it is hit by the antenna. And now another ace for McTaggart. And another ball hit out by the Panthers. Another serve, and it will be a beautiful serve just right in there in an opening spot. The North Penn Knights will lead 6-0 to zero and a great way to start off the second game. It's rare to find a perfectly open spot, but she seems to w make her way right through the seams of their defensive back row. Be another great serve and another great spot by the freshman, 33, Kylie McTaggart. This is her seventh serve, ladies and gentlemen, as Quakertown calls a timeout. This is incredible. Wow. Quakertown just not talking, just not communicating. They do not have the energy that the Knights do. They seem a little bit discouraged on the court right now, but hopefully they can bring their momentum up as North Penn leads 7-0. to And North Penn is ready to roll. They are excited, they are hyped, they are clapping, dancing, you name it, North Penn's got it. And North Penn always dances. <laughs> From the teachers to the students, to the band, everybody dance, dances here. <laughs> here at we have Penn. Quaker Town still focused with their coach Kelly Schranko judging and telling them what they can do next to be their best team and play defense very hard right now as Kylie McTaggart gets ready to serve for another time. North Penn Knights will lead it 7 to 0 against the Panthers. It'll be another beautiful serve. Great serve. But stop by their libero, number 23 for the Panthers. Just too tight to the net by number 23, Wilson, for Quakertown to gain the ball back here as North Penn sides out again. Ah, and, it, and Kylie McTaggart will just run out a little bit of juice, but she got the Knights up 8 to 1. And that is how you serve. That was a great run. And now we will welcome number six for the Quaker Panthers. And it was just out as North Penn will serve again. Here we have Riley Gilmer. Getting ready to serve once again. Number nine as North Penn is up nine and one to Quaker Town. Gilmer serves and it is good. Great serve and almost an ace, but North Penn gets the ball back as Quakertown cannot send it back over. As libero 23 Wilson tries to free ball it over, she's just a little bit short. And that's, and you have to find those good spots to hit it over for a free ball. And she does not had it. Another no. great tough serve by Gilmer and a tricky play by their setter, number six, Curtis. Just into the net by North Penn. Probably again, we'll try to hit it over, but once again, it was blocked by the net. We will have number 15 sub in for Riley Gilmer. And now number 20 will step up for Quaker Town, and she will serve an OVU right over and directly hit to number 29, Haley. Haley. Wow. And just like that, North Penn's got the ball back. And now number 30 will come in Valerie McGriff. Here we have Libero, Holly Cop serving the ball once more. Great spot, deep corner. And it will be hit so. over by Quarrytown. Just into the net by Kate Hanley. But I believe that North Penn has the ambition to get that ball right back as Quakertown serves it again at 11 and three, North Penn leading the way. Number five, Martinez will serve for Quakertown. Be hit over and unfortunately number 15 will just not get that good of a pass. But that was a really tough spot. That was.
as you hear North Penn's sideline cheering it up for the team to side out right here and get the ball back. Quakertown serves it over to the same spot, Gianna Gabriel. And, and North Penn can't quite get it over and just rush little, it up in time. Yeah, just a little bit of miscommunication, but hopefully the Knights will get it together and they will get the ball back. Gabriel receiving the ball. McTaggart setting it up for Kate Hanley to serve over. Great hit by McTaggart. Another great hit by number 11 for the Triggertown Panthers. And that'll be a dig attempt on McTaggart, but North Penn is determined to get it back over as you see them getting right back ready to be on the court. Number five, Martinez, serves it over for Quakertown. And right off of the arms of Gianna Gabriel on North Penn's side. Losing a little bit of momentum as Quakertown seems to close the gap right there, but they've got it. Our student section cheering super loud. We are ready to go. Be another good serve by number five, Martinez, and another smart play by the freshman. Ky Kylie McTaggart. You know, Kylie is smart on her feet, smart on the court and everything. Here we have number 27, senior Hannah Sparks joining the court. And uh, senior number 18, Aaron Bolin will serve it over. And it will be a short serve right into the net. But that's all right, the North Penn Knights will get their momentum going and their energy and hopefully they will get the ball back. North Penn's got this right here as they're ready to pass the ball up. Libero, Holly Cop, beautiful set by Boland and a great hit by Kate Hanley. But it will be tipped off by number 11 for Quakertown Panthers. Just short out of the arms of Aaron Boland, but North Penn is determined to get that ball back after number 19 Gallagher serves it off to North Penn from the Quakertown side. Be another good serve by number 19. And just a little bit of communication. Aaron Bolin was just a little bit short. But hopefully the Knights will get it back and they this will get their momentum going. Quaker Town wants. They want their tough serves because as long as they get a streak going, they can keep themselves in this set. But and as 19 Gallagher serves it right into the net, it'll be North Penn's ball leading the game still 13 to 10. Now we will welcome number 29, Junior Hanley. Kate Hanley, and she will serve it over. Great serve. As Quakertown returns the ball, right to the dig of Erin Boland. Free ball back by Holly Kopp. That was a great play by Quakertown as it took a lot of hustle to get that ball back over out of rotation. And here they are sending it back over and out of the North Penn side of the court for North Penn to receive the ball one more time with Hanley serves. You know, Hanley, she's just a powerful hitter and a powerful, she's just powerful all around. You know, she's got that great height to be a perfect hitter and just like that, she will make an amazing spot on the Quaker Town side where they, there, there's just a small opening, but she found it and she got it in. And now the point, and now the Knights lead 15 to 10. Hanley serves it and it is knocked out by number 19 on the Panther side. I believe Quakertown saw that ball as going out, but go for it anyway, as it slipped out of the arms of number 19. And that's just what you want to go for. Hanley will serve it short, but that is all right, because the Knights will hopefully get the ball back. As number 23, the libero for Wilson for the Quakertown Panthers will serve it over. And it is a good serve, and Dig it will be... by Hanley. Great set by Bolin for Valerie McGriff to send it back over to Quakertown side. And it will be out. A good hit, good attempt to get a good spot, but it'll just be a little bit too powerful. When North Penn is up 17 to 11 against Quakertown, small mistakes like that are just mistakes that you can't afford. Looks like they are communicating right now and trying to shake it off as North Penn will send the ball back over. Here we have senior Valerie McGriff. 
She is not the one you want to be serving to you. No, and she is not the one that you want to be standing right in front of on the net. <laughs> Great serve by McGriff. A little As bit of miscommunication Quaker Town. on Quaker Town Free side. balls it over. Free ball back to Quaker Town from the North Penn side as they cannot send it back over. A little miscommunication between number 19 and number six on the Quaker Town side. And now number 30, Valerie McGriff will serve it over once more. And it will be a beautiful serve, but stopped by number 23, Libero, for Quaker Town. Just not enough room. That ball was too tight to the net for hitter number 11 on Quaker Town's side to send it back over to North Penn. Here is Quaker Town's second time out of the set. What do you think they're talking about right now? Probably communication once again. I mean, that's what you all want to have. You want to have good communication, good momentum, and unfortunately, Quaker Town is not having good energy tonight. And I think that that's one of the things that they're struggling with tonight. I agree. But meanwhile, on the other side, you got the Knights dancing, cheering, and they're just are having so much fun. Yeah, when you're up by eight points right now with some strong serves and a lot of seniors leading the court right now, and the North Penn should be celebrating. Yeah, and the student section for North Penn is just amazing. The score is 19 by North Penn to 11 by Quakertown. As we welcome senior number 30, Val McGriff. She will serve it over, and it will be just a little out. That is what other teams like to call a coach's point where you ice your server a little bit. But North Penn will bounce back quite fast as Quakertown serves the ball back over to them. Here we have number 11. And the serve is just out as North Penn calls the ball, communicates, talks it up on the court. And now we will welcome back number 33, freshman Kylie McTaggart. He will go up to serve the ball once more and hopefully she gets a streak again. As the Knights lead 20 to 12, this is where Quakertown wants to stop their streak. Number 23, Wilson will pass it up. But number 14's hit will just be a little out, a little too much on the arm. Maybe a little bit too much enthusiasm down there, trying to get back at this large gap in the points. McTaggart serves it out, but North Penn seems very enthusiastic that they will get the ball back. Now number we six, Curtis for Quakertown will serve it over to North Penn. Great set by number 33. And a great smart play by number 29, Kate Hanley. And it looks like on the expression on her face, she was not expecting that <laughs> to happen, but she got it over. And now we will welcome number nine, Bradley Gilmer, to serve it over. And it will be a beautiful serve, by, but stopped by number 23, Wilson. Great dig by Holly Kopp as it goes over to the desk. That was too hard to return back to your setter. North Penn's hustle must come back on this point as Quakertown serves number 20. And the serve will be good. Great pass, Free great communication. Ball back by Kate Hanley over to Quakertown's side as they try to return it back. Dig by McTaggart. And it will be a beautiful spike by number 29, Kate Hanley. As North Penn is leading the way, 23 to 14 against Quakertown. This is what you like to see. You know, the, the point of, you know, when you're playing volleyball, you want to get the other team frazzled. You want to get in their head. You want to make them mess up so that you can get the point. That may just explain the ace that Holly Cup just received right there. And ladies and gentlemen, it is game point for game number two. And Ending with another ace by Holly Kopp, North Penn, 25 to Quakertown's 14 as we enter our third set. 
And just like that, the Knights have two games now under their belt as they switch sides to hopefully go on and win game number three. I think that this one needs to be much more enthusiastic on Quakertown's side because they are showing us that they have the offensive skills, they have the capabilities, but they just need to get their hustle up to beat North Penn in this last set or else this will be the final set of the night as North Penn leads two and zero out of five. I mean, it's always in, in intimidating to come to North Penn's gym or any other home team's gym. I mean, you got the parents, you got the student section, and you have both teams, JV, varsity. And Quaker Town might be a little bit intimidated right now, but they need to get their energy up if they want to play and win and stop the Knights from winning. I agree. It looks like North Penn's teammates are talking it up right now, congratulating each other on some great plays and talking about what they can do better in this next set. I think that they are getting happy because they think that they have this under their belt. Meanwhile, Quakertown looks like they're working really hard over there to figure out some new plays and skills that they'll work on in this next set. Maybe they can come back and scare North Penn a little bit. Let's hope not. <laughs> And now we are just waiting for Coach Scott and the Quaker Town coach, Kelly Shakar, Shark O, to finish, finalize their lineups, figure out what everybody's going, and give it to the refs so that we can start game number three. Now, I know one thing we've discussed a lot about this game is communication. That is key when you want to have a successful match like tonight. Very. As they knew going into it, that North Penn had a better record and a bit of an older team, they knew that they will have to communicate and hustle up on that court. And I think that that's probably what they're discussing right now. Because they have the potential, they just need to bring it up to North Penn's level. Yep. Here we have a libero switch on North Penn's side. It looks like Kayla Sucro has put on the blue libero jersey for North Penn, number eight. And it looks like Holly Cop will be a passer. All right. And now as the teams will do their final cheers, we will welcome the Panthers back on the court. And we will welcome the Knights also back on the court. Panthers look ready to go, high five. Miles. They seemed they seemed energetic. I think they realized that late listen guys, we gotta get energetic, we gotta get momentum going if we want to win. But there we go, we have number 30 Val, pumped as ever, doing a little dance there. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the Knights are just ready to win this game and get their win and get their record up. Both teams strolling on confidently. I would say that this is a pretty exciting third set of the match finalizing rotation for the refs. Here we have libero Kayla Sucro coming on for Valerie McGriff in back row. And just like we said before, the Knights have energy. The Knights have communication. They something have everything that you want in a team exactly. and something that you want to have when you win. Kayla Ooh. Sucro is an exceptional player on North Penn's team. As you can tell, she was a hitter for most of the first part of the game. And now she will be a back row defensive specialist. Not only, but she will also be libero. That is incredible to have the diversity and skill set of a player like that. And number six for the Quaker Town Panthers will hit it over. A little bit of a back and forth between the Panthers and Knights. And number 14 will try to hit it over, but just be a little bit short till it will hit into the net. Now we will welcome back a familiar face, as everyone has seen before, number 33 freshman Kylie McTaggart. She was served over Great beautifully. Great serve, an ace by McTaggart to start off this set. Number 19 for the Quaker Town will pass it over, and it was a tough pass, but she would just hit it a little bit out. Kylie on to serve again, and another beautiful serve. Quakertown rushes to send that ball back over. 
dig by Aaron Boland. And a great tip on North Penn's behalf, right into the Quaker Town side of the net. Once again, communication. Just, you have to have communication. And there was a little bit of mix up on the Quaker Town side. But now Kylie will serve it over again. And she will hit it once again, a beautiful serve. Knights lead it to three to zero. Dig by Kayla Sucro, libero. And hit over by Riley Gomer. Tricky play by Quaker Town, great adjustment. As Riley Gilmer hits it just out of the line on Quaker Town's part, giving them the ball back as North Penn leads the way, three to one. We have number five coming on to serve for Quaker Town, Martinez. Proven herself to be a good server for the rest of the game. Let's see what she's got as they need to come back in this last set to bring themselves a win. Be a good serve. Okay. Great line, but a great pass by Riley Gilmer. Just unable to hit it back over to Quaker Town. Number five, Martinez, will get ready to serve it over once again. And it will be a good serve. Right into the arms of Libero, Kayla Sucro, just unable to pass it upwards to Quaker Town side. They are now tying the score at three and three. This serve will determine whether or not North Penn will continue their lead. Beautiful serve once again. And it'll just be popped up and it'll just be a little tight at the net between the Knights, but communication, they are communicating, and Quakertown is coming. They are leading the game now, three to four. Great effort by North Penn there, just unable to get it as Quakertown takes their first lead of the night against North Penn. Free ball by Wagenhofer over to Quakertown's side of the net here as they send it back right into the net. North Penn will receive the ball to try and get their lead back. Now four and four as Gilmer gets up to serve. Once again, a familiar face, number nine, Riley Gilmer. And she will serve it over and it will be a good serve. In a really good spot. Like Another I said, those ace. little, yeah, those little open spots that you find these, the Knights are finding those spots and they are serving it over and they're getting the points. Always satisfying when you can break the seams of your defensive players in the back row. Riley will hit it over once again. And it will be hit over by number 27 for the Panthers. And a great save by Riley Gilmer, number nine. That was a beautiful dig by Gilmer. The Knights North put Penn it. to stay in the game. And another, another beautiful dig attempt by Mick Taggart as North Penn gets the ball back. It's plays like those that make, you know, you as a team excited, pumped, and ready to just serve it over and make a point. You can tell they're taking advantage of it as Gilmer serves once again, now leading six and four, protecting their lead in this game. Great hit by Hanley. And it will be out by number 20 for the Quaker Town Panthers. And once again, Riley Gilmer is back to serving it over again. The Knights lead the game seven to four against the Quakertown Panthers. A great serve by Riley Gilmer. And almost an ace. Wow, um, in times like this, when North Penn is leading eight to four in a set that you must win to stay in the game, you can't afford those small mistakes because you know the smart team like North Penn and Riley Gilmer will take advantage of that as she serves once again. And another ace. Incredible. Beautiful. Once again, Riley Gilmer is back up. Hopefully she can keep her streak going. Knights are now up nine to four. Be another beautiful serve up by number six and hit over by number 20, who will get it in, and number 33, Kylie McTaggart, will just be a little bit short. This is where Quaker Town wants to take advantage of their opportunity to go on another great run like they've had in previous sets, as North Penn still leads nine to five, and Quaker Town is hustling to catch up. Just into the net by number 30, as North Penn will regain the ball 
senior Valerie McGriff takes the court. And libero Kayla Sucro gets ready to serve. Once again, Kayla is another powerful server for the Knights. And she will serve it over, and it will be a good serve. Be hit over by number 27. Uh, and Quakertown gets the ball as a North Penn player was caught in the net on that play. That's a shame when you have such great hustle going on on the court to make such a small mistake. And now we will welcome number 20 for the Quakertown Panthers to get ready to serve. A little miscommunication between the refs. Here it looks like we have the refs checking a lineup, making sure that that is the appropriate server for this time. As North Penn leads 10 to 6, the refs will assess where the players should be on the court and who should be serving for Quakertown on this point. Now, if the rotation is mixed up, the ball will go to the opposing team and then they will get a point. Looks like the ref is trying to finalize, talking to Quakertown side. Talking to the North Penn players at the desk, making sure that the book and libero trackers are keeping the right numbers. Coach Scott calls over number 18, Aaron Bolin, and number 33, Kylie McTaggart. Looks like some players are getting involved on Quakertown's side as the ref will assess the lineup. and adjust the team accordingly, as they did not have the correct server in their place. Looks like the North Penn girls are getting a little confused, but now we will have the number 19, the server for Quakertown. Get ready to serve over once more. Quick sub in, number 19, Gallagher, serving the ball over to North Penn's side as they are unfazed by the mix up in the lineup. As we have the ref finalizing the decision, correcting any other mistakes possibly made in the book or libero tracker at the desk. You know, and during this waiting, like the North Penn Knights, they're like, they're hungry now. They want to like. They want to keep on playing volleyball. They want to keep this going. They want to keep their streak going. The hype just builds up when you're standing there waiting to receive the ball. It does. You never know what could happen next. And you always want to be covering, and you always want to be ready for when the ball is served over. Here in our back row on North Penn's side, we have libero Kayla Sucro, number eight, Gianna Gabrielle, number 15, and then we also have. Number 25. Number 29, Kate, Kate Hanley. Hanley. A little hard to read from up here, but that's all right. It looks like the refs are coming together to try and figure out what to do. And in the front row for the Knights, we have number 33, Kylie McTaggart, number 18, Aaron Bolin, and number 30, Valerie McGriff. Here we have the captain, number six, Curtis, on Quaker Town's behalf, speaking with the refs making sure that there are no more possible mix-ups. And the Knights are just, they just want this game to start. They want to keep on going. As you look at the Knights bench, it's extremely hyped up. And the word of the night Ready is. Ready to go. The word of the night for the Knights is crack a lacking crack a lacking And I believe that the girls are ready and they are crack a lacking We will have number 19 get ready to serve. Here our down ref comes off of the podium. North Penn bunches together, hypes up, dances. They do what they got to do. Like they I know said, they've got the game. Coach Scott is over there taking a picture of the bench as we await for the decision between the refs finalizing, talking to the book. Here we have the ref approaching the coach of Quakertown, Kelly Schranko, making sure that their lineup is correct. And there are no other adjustments they need to make before they can continue this game. Number 19 we have behind the line, making sure that she stays warmed up for the serve, if she continues to serve rather than North Penn's ball on this side. 
Knights are just having fun. They're not stressing like Quaker Town is. They're having fun, they're dancing, they're laughing. And our libero will be talking to Coach Scott, making sure that, and the Knights want to make sure that their rotation is right. Once again, the refs are trying to figure out who is in the right spot, who isn't, and then talking once again to the Quaker Town coach. Here we have the players, Gianna and Val, dancing on the court. And I believe they're doing some TikTok dances, <laughs> which sometimes our players record themselves dancing. You know, you have to keep the humor up, keep the energy up. Yeah. Laugh it off. Smile with your team. And they will circle up once again. You just want to keep, you know, the energy, like you said, the momentum going, like, during these times. It looks like Aaron Boland is giving a great pep talk to the team right now as they will receive the ball at 10-6, to 6, leading by four points. We have Valerie McGriff giving a pep talk. Everyone's cracking up some jokes. Here we have Kayla Sucro waving up to the desk up here. And Valerie. We have our student section for the North Penn Knights getting ready to go. And ladies and gentlemen, if you have time to come out to one of the North Penn volleyball games, we need energy and we need students. And we will appreciate you coming in, having fun. We have a snack stand outside. You can just come in, get a pretzel, watch the game. And now the ref will approach number 19 and he will fix their rotation. That was quite mixed up for a while but it did not affect North Penn's side as we are dancing and having a great time, keeping the energy up as they prepare to take this point from Quakertown. The down ref gets back up onto the podium. And now we are number ready. number three, Wood, gets ready to serve for Quakertown. And Town. now we are ready to continue with game three. The Knights lead up 10 to six, and let's hope that they just get the ball back and sh go for a rally. Ref is still talking to the bench, talking to the book people, talking to the liberos. About to blow the whistle, make sure that it's the correct server. One final time before the point can be taken. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, starting back up again. Number three serves it over. And a little bit of just communication, miscommunication between the Knights. Miscommunications like that are pretty common as you have to remember that the setter, Aaron Boland, always gets the second ball. Be another serve over. A little short. A little short for the Knights, but hopefully that they recognize that. And hopefully they will communicate and talk. And hopefully number 15 can get there in time. Looks like Quakertown is trying to come back from this mishap as they're closing the gap now 10 to 8 against North Penn. Little short, and Aaron Boland will hit it over. Aaron Boland with a great hit over to Quaker Town side. Number 11 will hit it back over, and it will just be a little bit out, and North Town will get the point. There was no touch. You could see a little bit of hesitation from the refs right there, but the ball went straight out, no touch on North Penn side, as senior Aaron Boland serves the ball over to Quaker Town. And that's one of the many important jobs that we have of our linemen. Aaron Boland will hit it over. And a little bit of miscommunication on the Quakertown side that will get the Knights up 12 to 8. Here we see the refs holding up a four with their fingers to mean that they could not get the ball over in their proper three touches as Aaron Bowen serves it back over to Quakertown. Tricky play. Smart play by number six on the Quakertown side. Smart play by number 29, Kate Hanley, on the Knights. Just a little bit of a back and forth rally going between the Knights and the Panthers. Free ball over by Kate Hanley to the Quaker Town side of the court. And a and great this block attempt by Valerie McGriff and Hannah Sparks. And this is when you don't want mistakes. This is when you want to keep the ball over, over the net and you don't want to make those mistakes. And a great spike over by number 29, Kate Hanley, and a perfect corner on the Quaker Town side. That is what every hitter dreams of, a perfect line point. And that's what you want to do. You, find, you want to find those open spots or the tough corners that the other opposing side cannot get to. Aaron Bowen serves it over. Beautiful serve. And a hit over by number 19 that will be directly into the net. 
I feel like Clerkentown is a little frazzled. I agree. I think that they need to get their communication back up and their hustle and their momentum that they had in the first couple points coming back into this set as Aaron Boland serves the ball back over and Quakertown attempts to tip it over, just a, to not get it past Valerie McGriff's and block. Beautiful block by number 30 and by number 27 on the night side. Great serve, as it will be received and sent back over by Quakertown in a free ball. Free ball and a hit over by libero Kayla. Be a beautiful save by number 23, Wilson, on the Quakertown side. Free ball over to North Penn. Beautiful set by Aaron Boland as Kate hits it over. And a nice save by number 19 on the Quakertown side. Dig off the net by Hannah Sparks and a set over by North Penn. And unfortunately, the North Penn Knights were just a little short and unfortunately didn't get the point, but they are still up 15 to nine. You can tell that Quakertown needed this as they're trying to close the gap between North Penn's six point lead and they continue to rack up the points against them. And number 19 will hit it directly into the net. Both student sections of North Penn and Quakertown are in a little bit of a cheer battle. And Coach Scott will have number 29, Kate Hanley, go back in. And our former libero, but now number 12, Cope, will serve. She will serve it, and it will be Great a beautiful serve. serve. Spike Town sends number. it back over out of North Penn's side of the court as North Penn receives the ball, now going on 18-9. to nine. This is incredible. This is exactly how you would like them to come back but North Penn keeps receiving the ball. It seems that the North Penn student section is getting a little too hype, and the ref is asking them just to be a little bit quiet. You can tell North Penn has a great spirit here as Cop sends the ball back over. And sometimes it can get a little too hype. Pushing the ball back over to Libero. Kayla Sucro, great set by Erin Boland, unfortunately called as a double. The ball will become Quaker Towns as number 11 serves it over into North Penn's play. We will welcome back up number 11 for Quaker Town to serve it over. She will serve it, and it will be a good serve. And it will be a free ball by Kayla, number eight, and another hit, but it will just be a little bit too much by number 20. Here we have Lyndon Wagenhofer joining the court as Valerie McGriff gets ready to serve. Val will hit it over and it'll be a beautiful serve. And it will be a little bit mi miscommunication on the Quakertown side, but they will free ball it over. And unfortunately, Hannah, Sp Hannah Spark will just not get there in time. That was difficult for North Penn as their setter was out of that play, receiving a dig and Valerie McGriff adjusting and giving a set to the proper hitter. Here we have Quakertown preparing to send the ball back over to North Penn's side. Great set by Aaron Boland. Right over by Gilmer. Just off the fingertips of Aaron Boland. Quakertown receives that point as and they will serve the ball back over to North Penn at 18 and 12. And now you can hear Quaker Town. Now they're getting energy. Now they're getting momentum. And number six will get ready to serve it over. She will serve it, and it will be a good serve. But Great I'll spot, but North Penn is not giving up as they adjust, and a little bit of miscommunication as the hustle gets too intense. We will welcome back up number six for Quaker Town. She will serve it over, and it will be a good serve. It will be a hit over by Hannah. Great it will be stop hit, at number great 30. Cross court. And just a little bit mis miscommunication. A little bit of a hard play to do for number 18. Once more, North Penn student section is getting a little talking to by the refs although North Penn knows no such thing as too much hype. 
back over to North Penn's side. Aaron Boland sets it up for Linden Wagon Hoffer to send it back over to Quaker Town side. Be a good hit back over by number 22. Dig by Kayla Sucro. Back set by Boland. And, and it will Hill be just Hannah in Sparks. by Hannah Sparks, like you said. See, once again, those are those spots. Those are, that's where you want to hit the ball. The spots, the corners, you just want to get it in a good spot, in a good zone. I agree. That's exactly what you want as a hitter. Here we have McTaggart Coach, serving the ball back over. Coach Scott always tells us, girls, do not serve it in zone six. Always aim for one and five. McTaggart will use another smart play like that on this serve, hopefully, as we are leading the way. 20 to 14. Right off the hands of number 19, Gallagher. Back to North Penn. Uh, for a setting error by McTaggart, freshman with a double. Small mistake. Only a five point lead right now as Quakertown receives the ball. Number five, Martinez, will serve again. She will serve it over, and it will be a good serve. A little short, little miscommunication on the night side, but they will get the ball back over. The ball will be sent back over. over. And number 33, Kylie Matagra will make the smart play, and the and Quakertown will pass it, but just a little too much. North Penn is now leading 25 to 21 to 15. Pardon. And we will welcome back Riley Gilmer to serve once again. She'll serve it over and it'll be a Great good serve. serve. And just a little bit of miscommunication between number 30 and number six on the Quaker Town side. I don't know what just happened on Quaker Town side, but their coach is feeling a little bit frustrated right now as North Penn is leading the way 22 to 15. Gilmer serves again, and it is great. Number 27 will hit it over, and a Kate Hanley will spike it over, but just a little bit too much power. Quakertown will get the ball back, and we will welcome number 20 back in to serve for Quakertown. As you know, number 20 prepares to serve, we have Gianna Gabrielle. Number 15 coming back on the court for North Penn as their defensive back row gets ready to get these last three points. It's just one of those things. You gotta be you gotta know where you are, you gotta know what your rotation is. Great and hustle. Knights will get it over. Kate McHanley will find that spot, and we and North Penn is back in business. They have the ball back, and now we will welcome <laughs> number eight, Libero. Back in to serve. <laughs> Kayla Sucro is actually one of the main cheerers for the team. Her signature cheer is Ace What? <laughs> <laughs> and that usually gets the girls pumps. And a beautiful, beautiful block by number 30, Valerie Mc <laughs> McGriff. This is a great way to go into game point as North Penn is leading the way 24 to 16. This could be the last serve of the game. Here we have Sucro with the serve. Great spot. Block attack by Aaron Boland. As Quakertown just sends it over. North Penn's back row player, Holly Cop, attempts to send it back over to Quakertown's side. Just cannot get it there. Quakertown will serve the ball as they have 17 to North Penn's 24 points. Number 30 is back up to serve for the Quakertown Panthers. She will serve it. Oh. And did not want to hit that one. The refs give it a good to go as she serves for her second try. She will serve it. It will be a good serve right to Holly. And it will be a hit by Valerie McGrath. McGriff, sorry. But unfortunately, North Penn just didn't get there in time. Number 30 is back up to serve. 
One mistake could cost North Penn's win This for is when Quaker Town. Yeah, just like you said, this is when you don't want to make mistakes. This is when you want to play smart and want to be smart. Quaker Town is racking up the points here with their serving streak. Number 30 keeps coming at them with the tough serves that North Penn needs to return if they want to end the game right here and now. She gets ready to serve. And it will be a short serve. A little miscommunication on Back the North Penn side. Back over by Holly Kopp. Dig by McTaggart. Hit for by a Aaron Boland, but just a little too short. Just short into the net by Boland as the gap seems to be closing with North Penn's lead, 24 to 20. This is intense. This is very intense. This is, at, this is when you just want to be smart. You just want to get the ball over the net. And the Knights are having a little hard time of doing that. That would be a passing error by Libero, Kayla Sucro, as North Penn shakes it off to receive the ball and this point right here. This is certainly not what anyone expected to have a three-point game at the end of the set. Yes. Number 30 will serve it over. And It'll it be is a good, good serve. serve. And Quick a smart, target. smart play by freshman. Be hit by Val. Free ball back over to North Penn's side at a very tricky spot. And it will be tipped out by number 15 for the North Penn. Ladies and gentlemen, the score is 24 to 22. This is game point for North Penn. They Quaker are up Town, by two. Quaker Town fans are going crazy right now as it is a two point game. North Penn's 24 to Quaker Town's 22. Little miscommunication once again. But North Penn is there just in time for the ball. What? And that was just, our lineman called the ball in, but unfortunately to the refs, that looked out. And Quaker Town will get the ball back. Number 30 is back up to serve. You the can hype. just hear the student section and the bench just cheering on Quaker Town and North Penn. The ball will serve is over. Incredible. Kate Haley, and she will find the spot, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that North Penn is the wins. Game. The final score is 25 to 23, with the Knights winning all three games. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Aaron Jesperger. I am Hannah Lardiandria. And thank you so much for joining us tonight for North Penn Girls Volleyball. Thank you so much, and have a great night.